Good morning, this is your media report for Thursday, June 11, 2015. I'm Sergeant Lori McGee, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. During the last 24 hours, police have responded to 80 calls for service. We would like to hear from anyone that has any information concerning any of our calls or investigations. We can be reached at 506-648-3333 at our email, police at stjohn.ca, or you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stalkers at one 800 222-8477 or on their website at crimenb.ca. At 12.39 p.m. yesterday, police responded to a Marlin Terrace residence for a report of a vehicle that had been gone through sometime overnight. Nothing was reported missing from the vehicle. At 1.30 p.m., police arrested a 24-year-old male on Westmoreland Road for an outstanding parole warrant. The accused was incarcerated at the county jail. At 2.25 p.m., police responded to a call of a break and enter into a residence on Bayside Drive. The rear door was forced open a TV and a sound bar were reported stolen. The incident remains under investigation at this time. At 8.54 p.m., police received a report of an intoxicated male who left the Prince Edward Square liquor store operating a vehicle. Police stopped the vehicle on Prince Edward Street. The male operator showed signs of impairment and was subsequently arrested for impaired driving. He was later released and he will appear in court at a later date. And at 11.49 p.m., police responded to an alarm at Grove Auto on Golden Grove Road, which resulted in the discovery of a fire inside. Officers noted smoke uh, from the eaves and windows were blackened. The building, as well as some vehicles inside, sustained smoke and fire damage. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. This will conclude the media report for Thursday, June the 11th. Have a great day and be safe.